Moving on to an example for constant differences. Given the table for f of x, what is the degree and leading coefficient? So we're just given a table of values and we're given no equation. So it's hard for us to tell from this table what the degree and leading coefficient is, but what we can do is we can start taking the differences of it and see if we see any relationships. So taking the differences, we always take a bottom y value, subtract the top y value. So 1 minus 14 is negative 13. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1 as well. And then negative 14 minus negative 1 would be negative 13. <clears throat> so this column here is our first differences. They're not constant, so let's take our second differences. So we would take these two values, negative 1 minus negative 13 would be positive 12, negative 1 minus negative 1 would be 0, and then negative 13 minus negative 1 would be negative 12. These uh, differences here are our second differences. They aren't constant either, so let's keep going. So the differences between these now, 0 minus 12 is negative 12, and then negative 12 minus 0 is also negative 12. So notice how our third differences are constant. So that means that this function has a degree of 3. Remember, we went over that relationship in the video before. So we know the degree of f of x is 3. And we also know that the constant differences, or the third constant differences, are equal to negative 12. Last question though, what is the leading coefficient? How can we find that out? We don't have the equation. Well, if you remember to the video before, I told you that the constant, let me put a line here so we're not getting confused. So the constant difference of a polynomial function is equal to a, which is the leading coefficient, times n, which is the degree factorial. If you haven't seen this before, make sure you watch the video before where I go over what this means, especially this n factorial. So we know that the constant difference is negative 12. The leading coefficient we don't know, we're still solving for that, so let's just put an a there. But the degree we know is 3. So 3 factorial we could put in this bracket, that's the same as n factorial. So we know that 3 factorial we could rewrite as 3 times 2 times 1. Constant difference is negative 12. And then we just have to simplify and solve for a. So negative 12 equals a. And then 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. So we'd have 6a. Divide both sides by 6. So a is equal to negative 2. So that there is our leading coefficient and we have a degree of 3 as well. So because our leading coefficient is negative 2 and our degree is 3, we know that this function, if we were to write it algebraically, the first term would be the leading coefficient of negative 2 and it has a degree of 3. Now we don't know what the other terms in the function are, but we know that that leading term, the negative 2x cubed, would be, uh, would be that. So Whenever you're given just a table of values and you're not given a function in, and you're asked to find the degree and the leading coefficient, what you do is you find the differences, find when they're constant, and work your way from there.